Testing, testing, one, two, three. <coughs> you know very well who you are. Don't let them hold you down. Reach for the stars. You had a go, but not that many. Cause you're the only one. I'll give you good and plenty. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. I'm gonna stop. Today we're talking about how it was all a dream. What's your dream? And why you need to commit to it. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Journey to Purpose with me, Erica Lasan. And I am so excited for this week's episode because I am telling you guys all about my journey to purpose and how it was once all a dream, like legit. The thing that I do now for a living and helping people like you, women and entrepreneurs who are overwhelmed, overworked and over it was once something that I thought was a nice idea until God put it on my heart to make the vision a reality. And with that, I've cracked the code on creatively living the life of your dreams and how you can too. So in this week's episode, I'm going to be sharing just that. I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of the journey to purpose dream academy and all that it entails, what this course is about, who it's for, how it helps solve the problems of women who are overwhelmed and overworked. But most importantly, I will be sharing in this episode why you need to have a seat in the next session. I thought that it was really important to share this episode because now I'm seen as the go-to person for a positive perspective. And a lot of times I'm seen as the person to give ideas so that other people can get their ideas moving and doing so in a way that creates a joy fueled life. Uh, I also think it's really important to share this because just yesterday as I was speaking to another parent they said something to me along the lines of well it seems like you've got everything figured out and the truth of the matter is I don't but what I do have is a mindset that understands that positivity creates positive results and also understanding that joy is really the answer to create a life that you love. But more than anything, I thought it really important to share this episode because not too long ago, my life was completely different and I felt like a useless mess. It's, it's so true. I felt like a total bum. Okay, I had gone to college, I had done all the things that I was supposed to do, I graduated within four years, got my college degree, I was unemployed, I graduated during a recession. The place where I was working when I graduated was my college internship and they weren't fully utilizing me to my fullest potential, so I wasn't fulfilled. And not too long after that, I was working out in jobs just to make a little bit of money to support myself. And while I was doing things that I was passionate about, I wasn't making tons of money and that created this cycle of feeling more bummy and it just wasn't the best look. And then the biggest responsibility and role of my life happened when I became a mother. And it was at this point that I really understood the need for purpose. Yes, I was doing a lot of things, but because they were lacking purpose, they didn't fill me in the way that I needed them to. And then with that came the guilt <laughs> and the mom guilt and all of the other guilt about feeling like I was complaining or I should be satisfied. On the outside, it looked like things were really good. I had a beautiful family. I had a wonderful relationship with a man who cares for me. I was able to stay at home with my kids. So things were good, but I also realized within that time frame that I really needed to do things to prioritize my joy. I found myself crying a lot. <laughs> it was almost like a trigger. Anytime I found myself crying, for days on end and that was kind of like a sign so in those times I found myself crying a lot I found myself being really uninspired so I was lacking creativity and inspiration um, and because I felt so bad about the place where I was in life being in my late 20s not having things figured out in terms of money or career or just a general understanding of the direction that I was supposed to be going in 
it kind of created this cycle of being unproductive. And so I found myself sitting down on the couch a lot, just binge watching shows on Netflix. What I know now is that I was lacking clarity in what the actual vision was and then creating the steps to get there. And with this, because I was uninspired and unproductive, in some ways I was also really unorganized. There was just a lot of things that I felt in my mind and in my heart. I wanted to do so many things, but because I wasn't sure of how to do them, all of these things kind of created clutter in my mind and ultimately that clutter that I felt internally became reflective in my environment and there was a lot of clutter in my home. All of these things really together came to creating a lack of clarity, a lack of clarity in my life, a lack of clarity in my vision, a lack of clarity in my goals and with this there was a lack of movement towards my dreams. This affected my relationships, this affected my self-worth, this affected the way I valued myself, and ultimately, I succumbed to all of my feelings and circumstances really hard. When I think of all of the feelings that I felt in that moment, what it came down to was me feeling overwhelmed because there was a lot of stuff that I needed to consider and a lot of things that needed to be done all the time on a daily basis. Um, when I was thinking about my career path or lack thereof, um, overwhelmed about the idea of getting a job or having to find work. Um, I was also overwhelmed being a full-time stay-at-home mom, even though it was a choice that I'd made. I didn't know that it was going to involve everything that being a full-time parent involves. So when I came into full-time stay-at-home parenthood, or motherhood, I thought that it was gonna be a little easier if I am being completely transparent. And I highlighted this in an episode earlier in the season, but it wasn't what I expected. So there was a lot of work that I felt always needed to be done in taking care of the children. And that left me feeling overworked because now not only did I have to consider um, taking care of the home and all of those daily responsibilities that come with it, but then I also felt overworked with having to look for work <laughs> because I felt this immense pressure to be um, creating income and all of this overall then left me feeling very unfulfilled because I felt if I was taking all of this time to take care of everyone else's needs and the household needs how was I then ever going to have time to take care of my needs and my desires and my dreams and my goals I couldn't. And with this, I felt unvalued because I felt the pressure of doing all of this stuff, but I didn't think that anyone understood the pressure that I was under. And because of the way that we are trained a lot of times, especially as women, I felt the need to do all of this and feel all of these things in silence. So for a very long time, I didn't share how I felt about anything. I silently cried on my own a lot of days. Um, when Nicholas, my husband, was at work or when Ario was sleeping or I'd take bathroom breaks the same way I did when I was at the job that I disliked and I would cry. Sometimes just a very good cleansing cry was what I needed to just get through the day. And because I felt all of these feelings all the time, day in and day out, day after day, I just felt generally drained and fatigued all the time. I was emotionally drained. I was mentally drained, I was physically drained, and more than anything, I was spiritually drained, which <sighs> that's a whole conversation for a whole other day. And I felt this way all the time. If you can relate to any of these things, or if you are currently experiencing any of these same feelings, I want you to keep listening because after this quick break, I'm going to share what I did to get myself out of that funky period of life and out of that purposeless rut. These are the very same things that I teach you in the Dream Academy, so you definitely don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Quick question. Do you wish that you had the confidence and the discipline to use your creative gifts to create a life that is more fulfilling and purpose propelled? Or maybe you are just plain old over it. And by it, I mean everything. <laughs> if you answered yes to one or maybe all of these things, I'm here to help you dream again. I would like to invite you to join me for a 90 minute masterclass for women and entrepreneurs who want a roadmap to feeling less overwhelmed, 
less overworked, and more connected to their dreams and goals. You'll walk away from this Journey to Dream Masterclass with clarity around how to craft a vision that produces an unapologetically beautiful life that is grounded in joy, improving your relationships, your career, your wellness, and even your finances. You'll benefit from this masterclass no matter where you are in life, or even if you're unsure of what your purpose is, whether you're a college graduate that's looking to find work, a stay-at-home mom who's looking to rediscover yourself and your identity outside of your children, or maybe you're even at a point in your career where you're switching career paths or you're ready to enter retirement and you're just unsure of what it is that you want to do next. The best years are ahead of you and if you've lost sight of how to get there, I am here to help you rediscover your freedom and joy. If this sounds like something that you may be interested in, please visit the link shared below or somewhere around this screen up here down there in a comment box somewhere and register for this free masterclass where i will teach you how to journey to your dreams again by creating a system of how you can change your life through joy i hope to see you there but until then i hope that you remember that we're on this journey together one feel good thing at a time I'll catch you in class. And we're back, and we're back, and we're back, and we're back, yeah. I hope you're feeling what I'm feeling. And what I'm feeling right now is a lot of excitement. And if you felt the way that I did, I want to share a solution with you. And the solution is to get a seat in the next session of the Journey to Purpose Dream Academy, okay? <laughs> and the reason why is because in the Dream Academy, I share with you the very things that I use to get myself out of a purposeless rut and into a life that is faith-fueled and purpose-propelled. And with this, I am able to find joy in every situation and circumstance, even when things are less than ideal. And as I say that, you're probably wondering, okay, 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 I'm hearing so much about this Dream Academy. What is it really? Like, what is the lowdown? What is the T on the Dream Academy? I am here to share it with you right now. So the first thing you're probably wondering is, what is the Dream Academy actually about? This experience is really about how to get clarity in your vision, your dreams, and your goals so that you can take intentional steps towards your goals and doing so in a way that doesn't leave you feeling drained and overwhelmed. Because let's be real, Sometimes when you think about all of the possibilities of what you can be doing with your life and all of the things that you want to be doing, it can be very overwhelming, especially if you are taking your cues about what you should be doing with your life from social media or looking at the lives of other people and the things that they're accomplishing. And if you're feeling like you're somehow behind in life, I want you to understand that where you are who you are and when you are is perfect. You are exactly where you are meant to be. The question is, how are you gonna utilize some of your past experiences to really anchor yourself in your present and move forward in a way that is purpose led? Because that's really all that matters. You can't change the past, but what you can change is how you engage with your present and how your present can affect your future. So in the Dream Academy, we help you do just that. Get clarity around what it is that you really want to do and how you can get there. You need to have vision. The Bible says that without vision, the people will perish. And it's so true. If you don't have clarity in your vision and where it is that you are going and what it is that you really want to do, you can take on a bunch of little tasks that keep you busy and distracted. You will be overwhelmed because you're always doing stuff. You will feel overworked because the tasks never stop, but you'll also continue to feel unfulfilled because those things aren't actually aligned with the thing, the calling on your life that you've been purposed for. So it's very important that you have vision. And in this six week experience, that's exactly what you will lead with. But this vision is also really important because this vision is one that you will establish with faith. And a lot of people talk about having faith, but then a lot of people don't take actions that are faith led. The vision doesn't work unless you do. And faith without works is dead. So if you have a vision and if you have clarity in the vision, you also need to have faith that you are able and capable to fulfill the vision. 
And we work through all of these things in the six week course. We help you build your faith. We help you get clarity in your vision and we empower you with the confidence to trust yourself and understanding that you are fully capable and able, but more than anything that you are destined and purpose to live your vision out to the fullest. You can do this. The next thing I want to highlight is who this course is for. This course is really for everybody, right? Because everybody needs joy in their life. Everyone should be leading a purpose fulfilled and purpose propelled life. And a lot of people have lost sight of what their purpose is and they're in a state of trying to find it once again. But I want to say that you can't find what hasn't been lost. You are born with purpose. The question is, are you ready to recommit to living that life of purpose? This course is for anyone who feels overwhelmed and overworked and just trying to live a life that is satisfying. And that can look a number of ways. It can look like a student who has just graduated from high school who, or college and who's ready to enter adulthood, but they're unsure of what they really want now that they are on their own and they get to make decisions for themselves. It can look like a woman who is coming into parenthood. If you're a new mom and you're trying to discover yourself in this new phase of your life, because one thing that doesn't happen when people are excited for you to have children is they don't prepare you for the life changing experience that it is. Motherhood comes with so many beautiful blessings and it is an immense gift to be able to birth life into this world. But it also comes with a huge shift in your identity and how you see yourself. And I think that this isn't something that is touched on often enough. And also understanding how important it is that you still remember that you're a person before you're a parent. So this course also helps you rediscover your identity outside of the role of parenthood, rediscovering your identity in this new season of life and who it is that you want to be and where it is that you wanna go moving forward. This course is also for anyone who's leaving the workforce or just pivoting in their career. If you're looking to do something new in this stage of your life that looks like nothing you've ever done before and you want clarity in what that looks like and how to get there, this course is definitely for you. Or if you've had an idea that you've been sitting on for a really long time, a dream that you've been looking to pursue, and you're not sure if it's a good idea or you're not sure of how to even begin with the vision, but it's something that you feel so deeply in your heart, this experience will give you the confidence to combat the fear that you may be feeling towards taking that step of faith. <laughs> this course is also for anyone who just deals with anxiety on a regular basis, because let's be frank, okay? The world can be a very anxiety inducing place, <laughs> but even though you have anxious moments, that doesn't mean that your life should be ruled by anxiety. So we'll be touching on ways that you can fight your anxiety in a way that allows you to lead with faith and joy so that you can move forward with a process that creates progress. <laughs> the Dream Academy is really for everyone and really anyone who's looking to create a change in their life that will lead them to more joy, peace, and fulfillment. If that sounds like you, then you definitely want to grab your seat. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now that I've shared all that, you're probably thinking, okay, this is sounding good. This is sounding like me. I may want in, but what am I getting in this six week experience? First, we have pre-work because we need to start with understanding what brings you joy, right? This is an opportunity for us to enter a relationship where I get to know you, you get to know me, and then we can create your vision of joy with clarity and ease. But first, we need to lay the groundwork. Next up, we have module one. And in module one, I teach you the difference between vision, purpose, and passion because trust, they are not all the same. <laughs> and the moment you're able to understand that, you're able to move on to module two, which is discovering your purpose. Then after that, in module three, we talk about how you activate the purpose 
that you've now gained clarity about in module two. Lastly, in module four, we have our vision board party. And this is really a culmination of the six week experience. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like to party. I like a feel good time. So we end our six week experience together with a vision board party where we celebrate you and your dedication to really rediscovering, reconnecting and recommitting with your purpose and identity and joy. This experience in and of itself is a whole thing. What gets me most excited about the vision board party is it's an opportunity for the community to support you and elevate you in your dedication to your vision. So with this, your vision doesn't stop at the Dream Academy. We're here to make sure that your vision becomes more than a nice idea. We're here to help you bring your vision to life. In this course and beyond, but wait, there's more. <laughs> As if all of the things that I shared with you weren't enough, I want you to know that you'll also gain lifetime access to this program. So once you pay for it, you won't have to pay for it again and you get it as long as it exists. You'll have access to all of the resources and materials that are included in this six week experience, the worksheets, the videos, the toolkits and tutorials. You'll also be able to participate in six live Q and A's with me, Erica Lasan, your resident joy strategist. And in this time, you'll be able to ask me any questions that you may have about your vision, about the modules, or even about how you can begin to incorporate more joy into your life, business, and career. In this time, you'll also get vision board tutorials, which will answer questions like, what is a vision board? Who is a vision board for? How does a vision board work? And what do I do if I'm not super crafty and I don't wanna create a traditional vision board using scissors, paper, glue, and all of the other things. There are a couple of other options and alternatives for you, and I'll be sharing those with you as well. But one of the best parts about this experience is that you'll also be gaining access to a private community. Think of this as your joy first mastermind and your new internet besties. <laughs> These are people who will hold you accountable to your vision, but really understanding that the process that you are looking to go through to get you to progress is one that they are going through as well. So in this space, there is no judgment. We really seek to create a space of love, unity, and connection so you can be honest and authentic in your truth. The mission of Journey to Purpose is to help people find joy through purpose by way of open conversations and healing experiences. And that's really what we want our community to be. So when you come into our private space, this space is an opportunity for you to build partnerships that can really benefit you throughout your life, even beyond this workshop experience. What the Journey to Purpose Dream Academy really means for me is an opportunity to promote peace, prosperity, and really a sense of wholeness through joy for women. And the more I do this work as a joy strategist, what I find is that this doesn't just benefit us. This work is meant to help future generations in a way that feels good. One feel good thing at a time. More patient mothers, more purpose children, more nurturing leaders, and ultimate really just creating more empathetic, loving, and creative citizens in the world. Could you imagine what the world would be like if everyone in the world lived this way with more joy? <laughs> It'd be a utopia. <laughs> but you're probably wondering what this can actually do for you and your life. And you don't really have to wonder too much because there are a whole lot of testimonials on our site. And with this, I also hope that you are subscribed to the mailing list because in a couple of weeks after we have our Journey to Dream Masterclass, which I'll be sharing the details about in the description below, as well as later on in the episode, I'll be having a live lunch series where I'll be speaking with some of the women who've taken part in our past journey to purpose experiences and how they were able to gain value and impactful results through this program. So if you are not yet subscribed to the mailing list, you definitely want to do that so you do not miss the notifications when that's happening. Ah, oh my gosh. All right. So we've gone through a lot of things, but you know, I cannot end this episode without sharing some joy gems with you guys, right? The first joy gem I have 
comes from Proverbs 29 at 19. And I kind of alluded to it earlier in this episode, but it says, where there is no vision, the people will perish. I don't think I really need to explain that because that's basically what we've been talking about this whole episode. If you don't know where it is that you are headed, it is very, very hard to stay the course and it is very easy to get distracted with things that don't matter and don't support where you actually want to go. The second joy gem I want to share with you guys, and this is one of my favorites and something that I used very early on in my journey to purpose when I was committing to living a faith field life. And it comes from Habakkuk 2 and it says, Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. It is so necessary for us to write things down, (laughs) not only to remind us of what it is that we're trying to do, but it also makes for a wonderful testimony of where you've been once you're able to make it to your destination. And that's one of the reasons why I love vision boards so much because it's a map of where you wanna go, but after you've attained the goal year after year after year, you also have a beautiful memory to look back on of where you've been and how God was actually able to use you and move you from one place to the next. The next story gem I wanna share with you comes from Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24. And it says, if the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Ooh, that's a goodie that came from my devotions this week. And this is something that I have seen and felt exemplified in my own life, where the moment you're really able to surrender your will to God's way, (laughs) you find that attaining your dreams and your goals becomes so much easier. And you find that a lot of things begin to flow for you rather than you needing to force and fight your way into making things happen. And that's the beauty of living a faith-fueled, purpose-propelled life. You begin to understand that you can take a back seat so that God can take the driver's seat and leading you to the destination of your dreams. <laughs> Another joy gem comes from Isaiah 48, 17. And at this point, I think that these are all just bonuses, but I'm gonna share them anyway, cause this one popped up during my devotions this week. And it was really helpful. This is what the Lord says, your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. And that he does. He directs your steps the moment you accept him and allow him to do so. But it's all a matter of choice and understanding that you have the power of choice to activate that guidance in your life. The moment you ask for help, you will receive it. It doesn't always show up in the ways that you expect, but it's always present. It makes for a wonderful adventure. (laughs) It really does. I don't know how else to explain it. You get to relax and embrace life with a lot more play and a lot more curiosity because you have the peace of the Holy Spirit, the peace and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The last joy gem that I'm going to share with you comes from Proverbs 19, 21. (laughs) Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And it's so true. Ultimately, you can only control what you can control, but everything that happens, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I've said it here time and time again, um, will ultimately come to glorify God. It all comes back to serve his good. So as you begin to embrace life with this perspective and enjoy the joy in the journey, it really does allow for more peace and joy in your life. And there are ways to practice this on a regular basis, some of which I will be teaching in the Dream Academy. Y'all, this has been a really long episode, but I hope that you found it fruitful and that it has given you a lot more clarity as to what to expect within the Journey to Purpose Dream Academy. But I also hope that you're inspired to check out the site and reserve your seat because it's gonna be a really amazing time. The next session of the Journey to Purpose Dream Academy is opening very soon. Like in the next couple of weeks, and you definitely don't wanna miss it. We're kicking off the Dream Academy with the Journey to Dream 
masterclass. Details for the masterclass are shared below and in the description box. If you are listening to the podcast on an audio streaming platform, then you will find it in the episode description. If you happen to be watching this video or listening to this episode at a time when the Dream Academy is closed, don't feel bad and know that you haven't missed anything. There's also an opportunity for you to apply for the wait list for the next session, and you'll be able to find details for that in the description as well. All of that said, guys, we have reached the end of this week's episode. I hope that you liked it. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're listening anywhere or everywhere, I hope that you are able to share this episode with a friend that could benefit from the information as well. Um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me and how a journey to purpose can help you and support you in your journey, visit the site ericalassan.com and you can also follow me across social media at Erica Lassan. I cannot wait to join you with you next week as we come back together for another episode and we're going to be doing a little bit of a resume rundown and with this I'm going to be highlighting a history of some of my past work experiences the good the bad and the ugly and how they ultimately put me on path for a life of purpose and joy so if you're currently struggling at a job that you cannot stand trust me you don't want to miss this episode okay <laughs> until then remember we are on this journey together one feel good thing at a time see you then bye <laughs>